Hey everybody, it's Sherry at the Crafty Decorator. Happy Saturday. I hope you were all enjoying this beautiful, beautiful weather. I hope you're having beautiful weather anyways. It's very hot here, but beautiful. When you jump on, just say hi that I know that you're here. I am jumping on to announce our winner for the Thrifty Thursday little giveaway I did that I want to see transformed. Hi, Michelle. How are you? Tell your mom I said hello, Michelle. I have to get with her one day. We have to go to lunch or something. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so on Thursdays, I said I'm going to start doing a little thrifty giveaway. So what I picked was these little candle things. And I want you to transform them into something. And who I picked was Ray. I hope I say your last name right. Could wait now i was just practicing it it's a polish name kaczynski is that right k-a-c-z-y-n-s-k-i i should know how to say your name because we're polish hi ian hi gloria from florida and that is where ray is from ray is from st petersburg florida so ray if you pm me your address i am going to ship these out to you and i want you to do something with them and share your photos hi sherry nice here in pa but hot yes shelly that's where i am pa it is nice but hot i think they said tomorrow is going to be like 90 close to 98 or something i also jumped on because you have asked a while back to see my bedroom. Now, let's see if I remember how to turn the camera around. So I'll show you some things in my bedroom. Let's see. Okay, I did. Okay. So this is a wall my husband and I did with barn wood that we ordered from Home Depot. I sanded, I stained, and we put it on the wall. We use liquid nail plus a nail gun. Hi, Sherry, watching you from Las Vegas. Oh, Debbie, I want to go to Vegas. But it's not going to be fun if you can't, like, eat in restaurants and stuff. So we're waiting. Up, oh, my sister Lisa from the Silver Farmhouse is on here. Hi, Lisa. Okay, so this is my bedroom. That's the wall we did. Those sconces are from Hobby Lobby. I have them with the little timer candles in there. These lamps I got at an auction from an antique store that was going out of business and let's see also this little primitive wood table i got at the auction and this is from hobby lobby that little lamp in their spring collection that's what i'm using for centerpieces for my son's wedding hi sherry hi colleen let's see this bedspread i love i ordered um Another one in a taupe color for my son's and daughter-in-law's spare bedroom when I was just down there. When they were moving in, I ordered a taupe color. That's from Amazon. Let's see. What else? Okay. Then a while back, I all showed you the ceiling fan that has a chandelier. That one I turned on so you could see. Oh, I have a light bulb out. Here's one not turned on. I don't know if you could see it. Which way you could see it better. But if you like have a chandelier in your bedroom but still want to keep the fan this is a good alternative i love them i got my glass angels glued together but need to print out the wings and get them on yay hi Faye. hi she and then this i know a lot of you are new but this i gotta have to get used to the camera here this is the jewelry display stand i made that i showed you guys that was 350 dollars, and i made it for I don't know, I think it was 130 something. And I love that. That's my tree I keep in here all the time, but now I gotta replace the lights because they blew out on me. Did, uh, paint your, did you paint your bedroom set? No, I bought it like that. Actually, the dressers and the nightstands I have forever that I got from Penny's. And then about two years ago, we got this, bed from a local furniture store here in Wilkes-Barre. Can you post the bedspread link on Amazon? Yes, Anne, I will. It is on my recommended products. I posted that long, long time ago. It might have been, uh, I'm trying to think, Easter or something, but I'll post it again. 
Love your taste. So inviting. Thank you. And then I have another one of these that I got at um, Salvation Army for $100. And I keep my vintage bedding in there, like the vintage crocheted bed spreads and my regular bedding that I change out in. Join the doing the corn stalks. Hey, Christina, make sure you post a picture. Hello, Sherry. Tall sister is going to have to coordinate your times. I received my truck mate. Yay. We don't tell each other when we go on. It's too, it's too much work. It's too much work trying to figure out. Okay. Then this, I'll show you my bathroom. This was a buffet that I got at and uh, a little antique store for, I think it was $100. And we turned this into a vanity. The, let's see, the mirror, I'm like getting out of reach or something. The mirrors I got at Hobby Lobby, I, they were white. I didn't like them white, so I painted them. Then there is, let's see if I'm gonna lose you again if I come in. But there is the crystal uh, recess lighting that I showed you guys how to make. And that's a cloth wood tub we got out of the junkyard that I had refinished. <laughs> Your room looks like a luxury vacation. Uh, it's comfy, I like it. But this is my bedroom. So I wanted to jump on and show you because I told you a, a few months back that I would jump on and show you. And that is an iron crate uh, gate type of thing that I got downstairs. When I was visiting my sister Barb once, I got it at an antique place. All three of you have beautiful homes. Thank you, Joanne. Love your bedroom. Beautiful. Thank you, Sheila. Then, let's see. This is a hope chest that I've had since I was 16. My husband bought me that before we got married when I was 16. I used to keep all my silverware I was getting, collecting for when we got married and stuff. I'm going to recover this cushion. Guys, look at this printed fabric. This is on clearance at Ho Hobby Lobby for $4.20 a yard. It's heavy. It's the home. It's on those big rolls. Your bedroom is to die for. Just exquisite. Thank you, Colleen. Show your closet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll show you. It's a little messy, but I'll show you. This is my jewelry stuff. Yes. This is the picture frame jewelry holder. And this is my lamp for my earrings. And I am going to have a bracelet holder as soon as I finish it. But yes, this is my, my messy closet. <laughs> it's my messy closet. Love the club top. Reminds me when I was growing up. Your home is gorgeous. Thank you. Yes, we got that out of a junkyard. My husband, a salvage yard, I used, should say. My, that was a family business. And uh, my husband just changed careers. He went to... Be a realtor now. Okay, I'm going to flip you back to me. Hey, at least I remember how to work the camera. Great fabric. Isn't it pretty, Lynn? And they have a beautiful, beautiful, bright floral one that I bought that someday, if I find the right chair, I'm going to redo. Beautiful from Kentucky. Hi, Sandra. Hi, Julie. Yes, guys, you need to go check out all that big uh, rolls of fabric on clearance at Hobby Lobby because that's nice, heavy fabric for re- purposing furniture. Let's see. Thank you, Michelle. I know I was watching Lisa earlier where I was out and everybody said you watch Barb, then Lisa, and now me, see? Hi, Phyllis. Show us how to make your jewelry holder now, LLL. Which jewelry holder? Because I did the one on the wall. Um, I did that for Thrifty Thursday. And I have a blog for that. In the lamp I did for a Thrifty Thursday, there's a blog. And this, the one with the mannequin. Let's see. Okay. I don't know if my comments are frozen. All right, guys. I don't want to keep you on here forever, but I wanted to announce our winner. It's Ray Kaczynski. I think I'm saying it right, but I'm not sure from St. Petersburg, Florida. So PM me your address, Ray, and I will send them to you and I want to see what you do with them. Yes, Becky, I thought I froze. Our internet, even though we got it fixed, it's still been acting up again. It's been awesome seeing all three sisters today. Thank you, Carol. Can we go back and check the jewelry holder out? Which one? 
Let me see. Let me flip you. This one, I don't know if you want this one. That is the one I made with the mannequin. And that holder, I think, is supposed to be for the kitchen. I'm not sure. I got that at Hobby Lobby in their spring section. And let's see. I'm not sure what jewelry holder, so I'm going to show them to you again. Hi, you're back. I'm back, Julie. Okay. This is the picture frame one I did. And then that is the lamp one right there. So I'm not sure which one she was talking about, but those are the three. I want to change those lights in the closet. That's got to be a DUI thing. Okay, I will post the link for the bedspread. And if you like the fan, check that out because I love my fan. Love, love, love. Congrats to the winner. Yay, Colleen. Thank you. Jack, Silver Farmhouse. Was someone asking about Lisa? My guess. My sister's page is the Silver Farmhouse. Where are the chandelier from? That I ordered from Amazon a few years ago, maybe three years ago. Um, it's all, it can't, they used to sell the chandelier separate, but I can't find that now. But the fan and the chandelier come together. That's the ones I ordered. Everybody's internet is messing up for days now. I don't know if it's the heat or everyone being on. What holds the jewelry? All right. Katrina, I'm not sure which one you're talking about. PM me what your question and which one, and I'll let you know. Can you show us how to make the jewelry grand? Love your taste. All my jewelry holders are on my blog page. If you go to www.thecraftydecorator.com, you will find the blogs for them all. All right, guys, I don't want to keep you on here forever. I missed the first 14 minutes, but I'm here now. I'll catch the replay to see the first. Yes, Jill, check out the replay, and I will post the links for you guys. And thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. I'm trying to think of something maybe to craft tomorrow. I got to see. I'll see you all later. Thanks. Bye.